ready or not Here comes the boys from the south Here comes the ready or not Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Boomcast. So we're going to have the top 10 facts for Blizzard, then the top 10 facts for Mr. Freeze, and then the showdown between the two at the end. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Okay, so that was your top 10 facts for Blizzard. Now the top 10 facts for Mr. Freeze. Okay, so that was your top 10 facts for Mr. Freeze. Now the showdown between the two. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Boomcast vs. Series Era Blizzard vs. Mr. Freeze. Blizzard, for the most part, gets his powers from his suit. They have micro circuit and cryogenic units fitted so that it's possible to emit freeze rays and lower the temperature of the surrounding air and objects and release ice as a projectile. He is able to encase people in snow and ice, creating an ice barricade and generate ice sleds for transport. Blizzard also later developed electrokinesis, which gave him the ability to manipulate electrical currents and charge energies in his body. Mr. Freeze, however, uses special weapons, most notably his handheld freeze gun to freeze areas around him. His refrigeration suit grants him superhuman strength and durability. For a short time, he was granted the ability to generate sub-zero temperatures without his suit. He lost it again, but gained a new sub-zero armor and weaponry. Check out some of Mr. Freeze's ice puns. Alright everyone, chill. It's a cold town. Cool party. <laughs> Shut up! And the winner is... Blizzard, due to the fact he gains electrokinesis, which should make light work of Mr. Freeze. Think that we're wrong? Has the result left you hot and bothered or maybe a little cold under the collar? Well, sound off in the comments and feel free to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, BOOM!